Perhaps the biggest benefit of OptiRock is how quick and easy it is to use. It will save you hours in oversight preparation time. And to prove the point, I'm challenging these beefy guys next door to a race. The task is to prepare a normal extension for foundations and floor insulation. There are two of them and only one of me, but they have to do it the traditional way using stone, sand, hardcore and secondary insulation. Whereas I'm going to do it the easy way with OptiRock. OptiRock is so light in weight I can use a small van to collect the bags I need. This 50 litre bag weighs just 15 kilograms which is well within the health and safety executive guidelines. So it's easy for me to lift the bags and carry them through to the site. And I'm already way ahead. The guys needed a much larger vehicle to deliver their materials and look at the equipment they've had to use just to get the materials onto the site. There are five simple steps to laying Opterup. Step one. Lay loose aggregate to level up the site to a depth of 100 millimetres. Step 2, and this is what makes Opterox so easy to work with. Simply lay the full unopened bags of Opterox side by side to cover the floor area. Step 3. Fill in any gaps in between the bags and between the bags and the perimeter with loose OptiRock. OptiRock can be laid loose to a depth of 400mm without the need for compaction and can be easily laid around pipes. Let's take a look at how the competition are doing. Oh dear, they're already lagging behind. Apart from having to handle all that heavy hardcore, the guys are using polystyrene sheets for secondary insulation. It's awkward to work with, it has to be cut to size and taped up, and in many jobs it has to be laid around pipes and protected from hot water systems. It can be a real hassle and it all takes time. OptiRock, however, insulates brilliantly so there's no need for polystyrene sheets, no need for sand blinding and no need for compaction equipment, not even a wacker plate. Now how easy is that? Step 4. Lay a 1200 gauge damp proof membrane over the prepared site. And finally, step 5. Lay the concrete. Well, that's me done and it's taken a fraction of the time to get to this stage. No problems and no waste. The guys next door have barely started and it's going to be a good few hours before they finally lay the concrete. Like I said, there are two ways to lay foundations, the hard way or the OptiRock way. No other solution is lighter or easier to transport and handle. <laughs>